This tutorial is only for Photoshop beginners. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RetailPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. So as you guys can see today we have a brand new setup. We got rid of our old setup and thought why don't we don't, well, why don't we just create a setup that's in our real situation in our office. So yeah, welcome back and this tutorial is all about how to save in Photoshop. So if you're a beginner, a Photoshop newbie, this is a tutorial for you. You. If you're advanced, maybe come back next week. So yeah, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, you guys can see that I only have one group here. So basically my canvas is open and we have created a group already. Now, say for instance you're Photoshopping and you would have a few different layers. Say for instance this layer is filled with a white foreground color. Then you'll have another second layer with some effects maybe with a brush. Say for instance you would have painted something or you've edited your design, whatever you have. Say you have another four or five layers and on top of that you might have yeah, still some text. Okay, so I'm just going to write here text. Okay, let's do that again. There we go, text and I'm going to select it. I'm just going to give this a red color. So if you guys want to learn more about how to do designs and everything, have a look on the channel. There's a few or actually a ton of tutorials teaching you how to do simple and good logos. This is literally just about how to save if you don't know how to save. Now, say for instance you have these layers, something like a text layer, a normal layer, a brushed layer, or another painting, or maybe a logo, and a background layer. And you can first of all put everything together in groups, so next time when you come around, everything is nicely sorted. So say for instance in one year, or two years you're coming back, you want to, uh, for instance, go back into the Photoshop file, know what where it is, then you'll also have everything sorted. So for that, press Command G and put it together in a group and just rename that to whatever you want to. I'm gonna rename this to background. Okay, that will be my first. And as well, I've also pressed now Command G. So you should actually press Control G if you're a Windows user. So again, I'm gonna select these two layers or all of these layers, put that also together in a group with Command G. And we're just gonna write here, say for instance, logo or artwork, whatever you wanna rename it to. Text, you can also leave it as a single layer or if you have more, again, Command G and write here text. Okay, so that is it for that. Then next step, say for instance, now you're done. You've got everything sorted. You've got your, say your background, you've got another background, you've got your logo and you've got your text on top and you wanna save this now. Then you head all the way up here to file, save as. First of all, it will ask you save as what name. So you can first of all say here as well, the name, say for instance, I'm, I'm just gonna say tutorial. Okay, tutorial, and it says .psd. So this main means right away that you are now saving it as a Photoshop file, so it's not a JPEG. So first of all, go all the way down to format, and in format here, you have a few formats to save as. Say for instance, Photoshop, a large document photo, uh, Photoshop document, say for instance, if it's over two mega, gigabytes, then you can save it as that. You also have bitmap, uh, you've got JPEG, you've got JPEG 2000, you've got PNG, you've got Photoshop PDF files. So you can save it whatever you want, you can save it in here. I'm gonna go now with JPEG. So it's basically a normal JPEG and it will save it just as you see it right away on the screen. Okay, select where you want to save. And then you can also say embed your color profile here and hit save. Right away, uh, Photoshop will also ask you, do you wanna save it as matte? Yes, say none. Uh, maximum quality please. You can also see here in the previewer how big that file will be. And I always leave this to the standard options here. Format options is baseline optimized. I'm gonna hit okay. And right away you saved it as a normal JPEG image. But say for instance now you want to keep this as a Photoshop file. So it's very simple. Go back again to file, save as, and you're back into your original folder, but you're still with the title. So you can also maybe click just on your original tutorial, name or you can retype it again to tutorial or whatever you want. But remember it still says here .jpeg. So this means now you should go back all the way here and click once more on Photoshop. So now it changes to PSD, which now means that you're actually saving a Photoshop file. So once you hit save, it will ask you maximize compatibility. Yes, okay that. And also it will save now as a Photoshop file. So right away you saved all of this with all the different layers, all the different groups, and you've saved everything. Say for instance, I want to still save this as my JPEG, and 
as my thumbnail, sorry, and use it now as a JPEG. So I'll just select this layer. Say for instance, I don't want this on top or I don't want this on top or this. So I'm just turning off the visibility here and I only um, being left with my background and some text here. As you guys can see, here's the background and some text. Okay, I'm gonna go back to file, save as, and now I'm also under this folder tutorial going to save this as the thumbnail for this tutorial. So thumbnail, I'm gonna go all the way back to format and say JPEG. Okay, embed color profile, yes, I'm happy, hit save. I wanna save it as matte here, none. And as well, I wanna have quality 12, so it's a nice high quality picture. Obviously, that also depends again on your DPI and as well on your canvas size. But more about that next time. And for now, I'm gonna hit okay, and it will be saved as well like that. Let me show that to you. Okay, I'm gonna press F, get out of the full screen mode, and here on my desktop, you guys can now see is a folder called tutorial. So once I go into this, you'll see here is thumbnail. So this is again, just the JPEG picture that I've saved for the tutorial. We've also saved a, this picture here for just the tutorial. Uh, as you can see, also a JPEG and then also a PSD. So say for instance, if I turn this off, Photoshop will ask me, do you want to save this? Yes, we did save this, but obviously we turned off these layers. So it asked me, do you want to save it again? No, I don't. But if I now go back to my tutorial folder and select here tutorial PSD, open this right away, it will open exactly like we left it last time when we saved it with all our folders here. Yeah guys, so that's basically it for this week's tutorial. A super easy method how to save. Just be sure to also click PSD if you wanna save a Photoshop file or again JPEG if you want to save as JPEG. Yeah, if you're like me and just can't get enough of this and Photoshop, then hit that subscribe button right away. We send out free Photoshop tutorials every single week. So that's it guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next week. And if you want to see some more tutorials, then literally click somewhere here onto this video and you'll be brought to some of our best tutorials. Also, if you're a beginner, check out our one-on-one -on -one Photoshop playlist. It has a lot of tutorials just for beginners. And you can also click on Nikki at the back here, somewhere at the back, and you'll be brought to somewhere. I don't actually know where, but let's, let's keep that a surprise.